In this video, we will be covering a few of the many advanced techniques that this game has to offer. Some of these advanced techniques work better for some fighters than others, while the rest are equally as beneficial to the whole roster. There are more advanced techniques out there like wall jumping, teching, DI, and auto cancelling moves. These are just a few that I thought many people didn't really do that much or at all. If you would like a follow up video with these or other advanced techniques, let me know in the comments below. And as a quick disclaimer, for some of these techniques, it's recommended to set your controller layout to tilt stick and trigger jumps, since it'll make some of these a lot easier to pull off. But ultimately, it's up to you. The first technique we'll be covering is attack cancelling. What this pretty much does is that it cancels a move into a short hop buffered aerial. So how does this work? In this game, you can cancel certain moves into a jump by inputting a jump within the first few frames of the move coming out. This will cancel the move and instead give you a jump with a buffered aerial, meaning this is the fastest the game will allow you to do so. If you flick the analog stick in a certain direction while you do this, you will get a certain aerial. For example, if you hold it back, you will get a back air. Hold it up, get an up air. Hold it down for a down air, etc. So let's take a closer look. Here I input a forward tilt in the direction that I'm facing, and I quickly tap jump to get an attack cancel. That's the most basic way of looking at it. Now if I do this again, but this time as I press jump, I also move the analog stick backwards to get a back air. Attack cancelling is insanely useful in a lot of situations because you can turn yourself around as quickly as the game will allow. It can work from a standstill or after a run, and is great for combos at low percentage. The bad thing is that since it's a buffered aerial, you can only short hop out of an attack cancel, so full hops won't work. However, that brings us to our second technique, its counterpart, the reverse aerial rush. This one is executed slightly differently, but it works with both short hops and full hops, so you can use it at high percentages for certain setups. When your fighter is in the full running animation, they will perform a turnaround animation when you turn the analog stick in the opposite way. This is really laggy, and for the most part you want to avoid this animation by dash dancing. However, you can cancel this animation into a jump, giving you a reverse jump. All you have to do at this point is throw out the aerial in the traditional way for the most part. Again, this one works better if you're trying to get a full hop reverse aerial, but make sure to implement both of these equally since they are both huge to your game. The next technique is called the boost pivot tilt. Similar to reverse aerial rush, which involves your turnaround animation, this time we're going to cancel it into a tilt move. The recommended tilt move here is forward tilt, but feel free to lab out other moves if you wish. What this does is extend your forward tilt range by a slight amount, which can make it better for approaching and poking means. You first have to input a dash, turn around, and once you see that turnaround animation, you input a forward tilt back in the direction you were originally facing. This will allow you to keep your momentum from the turnaround animation and have it be effective with the forward tilt. This will make it go slightly further, which works better for some fighters than others. And similar to boost pivot tilt, we got the boost grab. Keep in mind this doesn't only work for grabs, but it makes certain grab options better, so a grab is usually the recommended follow up afterwards. In this game, you can grab while standing still or while dashing, also called a dash grab. Dash grabs are laggier than standing grabs, making them more committal, which is where the boost grab comes in. If you hold forward to get a dash and immediately tap down on the C stick, you will cancel your run animation and you will continue walking as long as you keep holding forward on the analog stick. This can give some fighters an insane boost, and since you're walking and not running, you will do a regular standing grab instead of a laggier dash grab. And staying in the subject of grabs, pivot grabs are also a really good option to go for. By turning around and inputting a grab at the same time, you will perform a pivot grab, which also gives your grabs more range, making them ideal for trying to catch landings or roll options. You can also do these from a standstill or while running, so make sure to practice both. Next up we have B-reverses. B-reverses allow certain special moves to be executed in the opposite direction they were originally facing. There's two different methods to B-reverses. The first one is a traditional turnaround that makes the move come out in the opposite direction you are facing. This one is performed by jumping, tapping the analog stick to the opposite direction you're facing, and then tapping the special button. The second method is what's known as a true B-reverse. It does pretty much the same thing, but it alters your momentum from one side to the next, moving you more drastically to the other side and it's executed almost backwards to the first method. You jump, tap the special button, and immediately after move the analog stick in the opposite direction you were facing. 
Again, some fighters benefit from this more than others, so make sure to implement it into your game. And lastly, we have what's known as a T-Spike. It's really simple, but can be really effective at times. To do this, you simply grab onto ledge, let go of ledge, and come back up with a double jump rising down air, which will cover the ledge below you. This will allow you to successfully two-frame or edge guard your opponent while also landing back on stage and not giving up stage control. You can let go of ledge by tapping either back on the analog stick or downwards, but both work fine. This can work for all downers, even the suicide downers, so add this into your arsenal as well. Yo, what's good homies? Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as they're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social media to stay up to date my current projects. Make sure to join my Discord server if you like some coaching lessons or just staying around. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.